So you wanna learn how to add graphics to your live stream? Well, fantastic, because doing so will give you a more professional live stream and it'll add that instant credibility to help you grow your audience and grow your business. You can do things that look like this, or this, or even a two-person pip. Or how about this? Add a little logo action, or this, or even this. Or how about a little countdown timer action? About to leave, already packing, come with me. The point being, you can add these graphics to your live stream or any recorded video for that matter. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that on Ecamm Live software on a Mac. If you are a PC, be sure to check the description for links relevant to you. And I've also got a tip for you on how you can actually get pro looking graphics without being a pro graphic designer. Here's the thing, I have seen our students make between $3,000 and $100,000 just in a single contract from having professional looking live streams and recorded videos and even doing things like bringing this professionalism into a Zoom meeting. Imagine if you're doing longer cycle types of videos like course videos or webinars or anything like that, the instant credibility that you gain can have a massive impact on your bottom line because it is creating visual engagement. It's keeping people's attention longer and making them learn better because of the visual aspect. So that is huge. If you are new here, by the way, please do type new in the comments. I would love to meet you. And since you are new, you don't know me, I'm Luria Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros, where we help you create professional live video that is uniquely you. Are you ready to dig into the tutorial? Let's do it. Okay, so what you're looking at is Ecamm Live. This is my favorite Mac software for live streaming and recording video, all in the same package. So this is super intuitive, super easy to use and learn. And I wanna walk you through what you need to know. And I wanna show you different types of graphics that you might wanna use in your production. So the windows that I want you to pay attention to, and this is fully configurable to your preferences, but this window is very important right here, the big window where you see yourself, this is actually what is being sent out to your audience. So whatever you see here, the audience is seen. And then we've got the scenes window here, and this is really important. So Ecamm works off of scenes. I go much more into depth about scenes and how you layer and how you do all of these different things with the software in the free Ecamm Live series. So I'm not gonna go into detail on that. We're just gonna get you going with adding these graphics. So we have our main cam. This is the main camera that you see. And then what we have are things like the pip, right? So you saw this at the beginning of the video. I wanna show you how to actually add that. So you are going to want to add a new scene. So for each section of things or each collection of things that you want to add another graphic, for example, or a graphic plus some text on screen, uh, then you're gonna want to create a brand new scene. So we will do that now, and we will call this uh, Pip Training. There we go. All right, so name your scene, and now we can start adding to it. So I've got my finder window here, and I'm going to choose the graphic that I want. It looks like this. Now in Ecamm Live, you can always use the overlays menu option up here so that you can add a new image overlay. And then that will allow you to browse your computer to find the image overlay that you're looking for. But my favorite trick is just to have the finder window up, click it and drag it on in. Boom. Now this doesn't look exactly like we want it to, right? So we gotta fix this. Um, we are main camera being seen in the two little boxes here. By the way, you can actually get these exact overlays and frames that I'm showing you in adding 
um, from our own graphic designer. The magical Mr. Paul Dixon has created graphics just for you. Different colors, different designs. Link is in the description, livestreamingpros.com slash store. Uh, but I just want you to know that you can do that. All right, so what we wanna do here is get us into this little tiny frame right here. The first step is to click this monitor button right here, and that is the share screen button. Now, this obviously doesn't look like we want it to. You see my brick down here? Uh, this is actually the camera. So we wanna click that, find it wherever it might wind up. It usually, if it's um, going to be a little hidden, it will most likely wind up down here in the bottom left corner. So just click that, drag it up here. Then we want to right click on your camera and you see you have all kinds of options in terms of how that is presented. So it could go round if you have a round overlay uh, or in this case, we want it to be tall. And then we want to click the window at the bottom corner and just drag it. There we go. And then just make sure that that's framed properly and how you want it to. So you can just, this is just movable. Just click and drag, just play around. Uh, now, one thing, if it um, looks like this, where it's coming outside of your graphic overlay, then I would make sure that click show above overlays. You want that behind in the behind layer. By the way, these are transparent boxes. So when we create our graphics uh, in order for us to share a screen or show the camera inside a box like this, they are transparent um, versus the rest of the graphic. Okay, so next step is that we wanna get our browser in this big wind this big window. <laughs> so what we want to do is show the primary display or wherever that is. And I've already positioned this uh, Chrome browser in this pip for the most part. Looks like I didn't do it right. So we just want to go over to the Chrome browser and adjust it. And I'm just literally, uh, clicking that window, dragging it to be bigger so that it fills the frame, okay? So that's really simple. There you go. You have your PIP overlay. So you've got your camera, you've got your shared screen. I could come over here and do a little tutorial, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look at us. This is what you can do, right? <laughs> so that is uh, the PIP. Now I wanna show you a couple of other little frames or overlays just to give you a sense for what you can do. So let's say you have an interview that you're doing. Uh, we have a graphic overlay just for that. And so I'm just going to click it and drag it into frame here. Now, if you're doing an interview, uh, you're going to bring them in via Skype or Ecamm actually, let me get out of the middle. <laughs> Ecamm is actually working on a native integration interview system. So as soon as that's released, you'll be able to do that. I'm not gonna give you a full tutorial on interviews. We actually have a video all about how to do interviews in Ecamm. But uh, if you are doing interviews, which is a common thing with live streaming, then you might want this PIP to be able to put people's names down here so that your guests or either your viewers know who the guest is at all times. So uh, we've dragged that in. Now what we wanna do is add our guest. So this is uh, Abby the Chihuahua and in the camera switcher, this is completely movable to wherever you want it to be, you're going to want to click the X. So I'm imagining that we have brought in a guest via Skype uh, and we're just going to click the plus button. And now Abby the Chihuahua is there, except you can't really see her. So we're going to click the show hide camera effects button. Oops, that was... There we go. So the camera effects button right here is going to allow us to pan and zoom. So what we wanna do is click the zoom and pan button and then we want to get her into frame. So you can just move the camera around. <laughs> She's a very interesting guest, as you can see. <laughs> so that's how you insert you know, somebody else into the second graphic overlay. 
uh, so that you can do an interview. Now, the other thing, and this is a little tidbit extra, uh, is you, if you wanna add names here, you can do so by going to overlays, new text overlay, and then you can type their names, Luria. And you can do last names, all that, whatever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna, Paul is gonna kill me because this is, I don't think our font, I didn't actually look. <laughs> We're gonna do another one for Abby. Oops, there we go. All right, so now we have each of our names on the interview graphics. So as I'm doing my interview, I can go back and forth between the main camera, talk to the audience, bring the guest on. You can have something set up so that it's just Abby full screen when she gets interesting because this is not an interesting interview at all. <laughs> all right, so let's add a text overlay next. The end goal of this would be to look something like this. Maybe it's a static text or maybe it's a scrolling ticker. So we use this to communicate with our audience something visually that we say a lot, like, hey, if you have a question, please put Q&A. So what we're gonna do is, we, you know how to get uh, image overlays in by now. So we now need to go to overlays and go to new, uh, new text overlay right there. And then I have already uh, copied what I want, the text that I want. If you want it in a fixed position, that's all you have to do is leave it there and it would look something like so <laughs> if it was just a, let's say livestreampros.com slash store, right? Then that would just be there, static. But obviously I'm gonna double click in here and to put this into a scrolling ticker and you can adjust your fonts and colors, all of that in this screen. All right, and there we go. We have our scrolling ticker. So now you can add that text overlay. So you can play around with this in different overlays with it just on screen and no overlay, whatever you prefer. Now on to the animated overlays. It looks something like this. It could look a variety of different ways. Uh, even if you have an animated lower third, the text on the bottom of the screen that plays a little video, it could be that as well. But this is one of our most common overlay, um, animated overlays where we have uh, an option to go get your own overlays, right? <laughs> so um, we don't sell these animated overlays, but we do sell all of the pips and the frames and all of that, right? So you could do something like that. You could have it say whatever you want. So let me show you how you actually get that done. So we're gonna start with a blank canvas here with our camera, and then we are going to go to overlays, new animated overlay, and search for our file. So we're gonna choose that and then we're gonna open it and it's going to ask, do you wanna play full screen with audio or do you want to add the animated overlay? The full screen with audio would be how you bring in an actual video, a recorded video that you want to play, which is totally fine if you are mixing that with actual live streaming. And then uh, what we want for this particular type is an animated overlay. Obviously it looks kinda silly right now. So what we're gonna do is go into the uh, pip mode right here where we share our screen and then we're just gonna cover this up boom, boom, and move this over and voila there we are so of course you want to make sure that you click play on this and make sure that you choose when it's finished does it loop or does it do nothing uh we choose an hours to actually do nothing because he designed it so that that could happen but in most cases you might want that to loop next up is the countdown timer this is a really powerful one it could look something like this about to leave already packing come with me I'm not all right so that's a fancy version uh all you really need though is a simple countdown timer if you want to go the simple route and you do that by going overlays 
and add a countdown overlay. Now, all this is, is the actual timer itself. And when you, you can choose to go for a countdown to an, for an amount of time, 10 minutes. Um, and then you actually, little trick, you want to click, you want to do 959 on these. Um, if you have any kind of design on your uh, on your graphics like we do, like I just showed you. So you could literally do something that doesn't look great, but it's there. <laughs> so up to you. Um, if, uh, if you wanna learn how to add all of that uh, countdown timer overlay like we have here. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. Then uh, all you need to do is go to the link in the description where I show you all of these different things. The key thing here is that we actually want to make sure that you have all of the layers for your countdown timer. Again, I've got a full training series on all of this stuff detailed, uh, and that is at livestreamingpros.com slash Ecamm. Another type of overlay you might want to consider doing is a widget. Now, widgets are a little bit more on the advanced side, uh, but what they can do is Hooray! this. So if you have Super Chats enabled on YouTube, or if you have memberships enabled on YouTube, things like that, you can actually add little visual alerts for when things happen. If somebody sends you a Super Chat, if they become a member while you're live, that will actually pop up. It does have to be designed on the Streamlabs side, and that is the service that we use for this. Uh, but what you would want to do is click the overlays button and then add new widget overlay and you call it what it is. So super chats, for instance, and then you put your URL there. And Paul always has me do 800 by 530 frames per second and add that widget overlay. This becomes big. This is a big box. And so what we want to do is position it wherever we want, uh, for instance, down here where it was, or uh, you might want to make it full screen or something. Test these, test these, test these, because they can be uh, quite heavy on the system. So if you want a lower third, uh, name, your name, a URL strapped to the bottom of the screen, uh, that is something that really helps you put your name out there when you're introing your video or have a call to action with a URL, then you can do that one of two ways. You might want a static one, which is just a graphic, in which case you would do overlays, new image overlay, and just bring that file that you create in. Now, you our graphic designer, Paul, he really creates everything full screen. Um, and that way he designs it so that it's taking into consideration the entire screen. And then it just shows up in the bottom. In this case, what we have is animated lower thirds. So these are video files that play. Uh, and so we can just, we do nothing on these, but this just, it, it, it animates, right? So when it comes to the beginning of it, it comes in and it swoops across. So you can do a lot with a lower third uh, that you can just throw whenever you bring up something that you need, whether it's just your name or like I said, a call to action. And then it just goes away by itself. How awesome is that? So a couple resources for you to get the most out of your live stream. I want to make sure your live streams are freaking awesome. So we have the free Ecamm training tutorial series. That is at livestreamingpros.com slash Ecamm. It's completely free. I don't even ask for your email address. And if you want to get graphics that you know look great, were designed by a graphic designer, and you know that you're gonna look professional and get that instant credibility I talked about earlier, that is at livestreamingpros.com slash studio. Paul Dixon has created those graphics for you so that you can have different color choices, different design choices. And if you are looking to do interviews in your live stream, 
dreams. I actually walk you through exactly step-by-step -step how to do that inside of Ecamm Live. So go check that video out and I will see you there.